Welcome to Community Conversations. I'm Lisa Catherine, and I'm with Abby Mark Beal. Did I say that right? Mm -hmm. And we are going to have an awesome conversation about health and health options. Um, I, I'm coming to this conversation as a holistic esthetician for 20 years. And my background actually started in nutrition and then continued as an esthetician so that I could utilize the nutrition, the beauty from the inside out, mm -hmm. and health you know, approaching the whole skin care in a healthy way, not the whole plastic surgery way. Um, but my love and passion for nutrition and holistic health has grown over the years, and going into a whole di different direction of health education is you know, where I'm at today, mm -hmm. having the experiences with my daughter being a cancer survivor, and you know, all of us have had so many experiences with people in our lives with cancer. Now my mom, and. Mm -hmm. A girlfriend and I've ha I've had some really amazing learning opportunities. What do you mean by that? Amazing learning amazing learning what? opportunities. Yeah. The well, my last trip mm -hmm. to Mexico mm -hmm. with my girlfriend, who we went down there to a, a cl cancer clinic mm -hmm. that treated only with natural approaches. Um, Love that. Multiple mm -hmm. immunotherapy, detoxification, all kinds of blood work mm -hmm. that was done and. Um, and blood work that was enhanced and injected back into her. So mm. for the two weeks that I was down there with her, I was able to document everything that was done. And it was fascinating because it was confirmation of so many things I had learned mm. Mm -hmm. in, in my learning and my continued edu education and health education. Um, and it's I'm thrilled to keep on that path of education because my goal is to be able to help those that want to learn how to empower their own health mm -hmm. because there's so many options. My daughter, real quick, she did a fraction of conventional. She did do conventional treatments for her cancer, but she integrated multiple holistic mm -hmm. treatments and landed up not needing the normal conventional. And she's nine years cancer free. And even her oncologist today says, you don't need to do anything pretty much that the average cancer survivor would be doing because you didn't go through this you didn't do radiation, and that all, you know, be because we did our homework, we asked our questions, we integrated things that were appropriate for her, things that she was comfortable with, and there's, that's one of the, I'm so excited to talk to you, because what you do, a homeopathic um, practitioner, mm -hmm. um, homeopathic medicine, and, and that whole approach to health is something I'm not, not mm -hmm. really totally educated on aromatherapy, a lot of naturopathic, detoxification, you know, those things I've, I've had a chance to study, but what you do is fascinating, so. Thank you. I think it's very fascinating, too. Yeah. So, so what you're talking about are all the things that are the natural healing modalities that the body can, can do to help itself, be it for cancer or allergies or migraines or mm -hmm. whatever it is. It's understanding that we have other choices Mm -hmm. uh, I'll say complementary, integrative choices, um, exactly. in addition to the pharmaceuticals. Yep. And so there are, you know, there's this underground community of people that do do this. And here in Connecticut, we have all these natural paths that thankfully are here and allowing us to do other things more naturally. Mm -hmm. um, but there's not really anyone that's calling themselves a homeopath. And that's only because there's a law here in Connecticut that says you have to be a medical doctor to practice it. Really? Yet I have probably four times more education in homeopathy than a medical doctor or a naturopath that would practice it. And we only have nine in the state, by the way, medical doctors. Okay. That mm -hmm. are That are practicing schooled. it. There's, that are licensed okay. by the state. So we're trying to get homeopathy um, legalized here, but it's, it's a really long road. Uh, it's very difficult being in the only state in the whole country that has such a restrictive law. So anyway, in many things, pardon me, in many things, yes, the, re the restrictions and health, <laughs> too many things. But but we are very lucky. We have naturopaths in Massachusetts. They don't have naturopaths yet. So oh, really? I practice in Massachusetts where I can practice, but they don't have naturopaths. No kidding. Yeah, so it's, it's just a very different thing. So homeopathy is a great complement to anybody's health care. In it can be help with cancer treatments to help with um, all the side effects of all the chemotherapy. It could be helpful for just the regular chronic things that you get, mm -hmm. you know, migraines and allergies and PMS and menopause and you know, you name it. Homeopathy can help with a lot of those different things. 
but it's a compliment right. to other things. And like people say to me, so you don't have a doctor, right? I'm like, no, I have a doctor. It's part of my healthcare toolbox. I have, um, I have a medical doctor. I have a naturopath. I have a homeopath. I have an acupuncture uh, person I go to if I need to. I have a massage therapist. I have a chiropractor. I mean, depending on what the issue is, these are the people that I go to. And my medical doctor, I love her dearly. But I don't go to her unless I absolutely need to. I go to these other people first mm -hmm. because I don't want to go the pharmaceutical route. Mm -hmm. But she also does great testing. So mm -hmm. that's also, you know, doctors are great for testing as well. Sure. And uh, like you said, the team. And to me, like the toolbox, your medical mm -hmm. toolbox, having yeah. all these different modalities that you learned about. Mm -hmm. And then you can, you know, one thing might need one approach and one other issue might need another approach. But to have mm -hmm. people that you could trust, that you could call and mm -hmm. get the information from for you. Right. Everybody, every single person's different, every single disease is different. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, every 10 people could have the same cancer, but they're all totally unique people. Right, and they have their cancer in a different way in the way that they express it or don't express it it's, for that matter. Yeah. But to have that, that mm -hmm. person they can call is, is fantastic. And it, you're, like I said, I I'm really want to learn more about what you do. Well, let me tell I'll give you a little bit of information. Okay. So homeopathy, people always say, so what is homeopathy? Homeopathy is not naturopathy. Naturopathy is what a naturopath can do mm -hmm. where they give you supplements and vitamins, and those are the things you find in a health food store. But what I do is I focus on these little things, and when I show this, people go, hmm, what's that? I've never mm -hmm. seen that. And so I have a, a kit that is my travel kit for whenever I go somewhere. So this is one of my favorite remedies for the summer called Apis, Apis mellifica, and it's made from a bee stinger. And so The actual stinger from the a bee? The actual stinger of okay. a honeybee. And the reason I carry it is because I've been stung by a bee. I don't like how it feels. It typically gets red and hot, and I like to put cold on it. And mm -hmm. if it has those what we call modalities, then this remedy would be great to take for any kind of a puncture wound or a bite that you get, especially a bee bite. And I did, unfortunately, get bitten not long ago, and I had to take this. I took it every 15 minutes for an hour, and yeah, it was sore, but it wasn't red, it wasn't hot, it wasn't swollen anymore. Mm -hmm. It was just like I felt like someone stuck me, which is very different. Mm -hmm. And this is also a great remedy that if, you know, you do have that anaphylactic shock, okay. on your way to the hospital, right. you would take something this as well help. as something else. You know, if you don't have an EpiPen, that you would take something like this. And this mm -hmm. could possibly help. Because those symptoms of anaphylactic shock, of the, the tongue getting swollen and the closing of the throat, are all symptoms of a bee bite. Mm -hmm. From the stinger. From the stinger of a bee. And so all the remedies, they all look the same. They're all little white pellets, but they're coated in the substance that's made into, um, you know, made into this homeopathic dose, which okay. is basically a non-material dose. There's, you can't taste the bee. Gotcha. Every single remedy tastes the same, but it's, it's the water of the remedy that's been put on it. Okay. Does that help? Now, <laughs> my understanding, and to, please fix it, because I'm, I'm sure it's not mm -hmm. complete, is homeopathic in this case you're treating the situation with the actual cause the symptoms of a bee bite right right are those that, that i've explained mm -hmm. and then if you take this or, or you let's say you took this and you have ne and you didn't have a bee bite you might start having welts on your body that are red and hot and better from because cold because it's an actual stinger right and you're taking the... it for uh, as a healthy person you mm -hmm. get this but because i already got it I can take it and it would resolve it. So it acts as like an antidote. Like. Yes, in a way. Yes. Yeah. But you have to know what all those different symptoms are mm -hmm. before you can give the right remedy. And that's the training, the intense that's, training. That's, oh my gosh, all the training to be nationally certified is huge. Really? How? Yeah. How? Uh, 500 classroom hours, 250 clinical hours, uh, 10 supervised cases, five individual cases, five part exam and an interview. So you, know, you need to know a lot about. A lot illnesses and symptoms. Anatomy and physiology, and, yeah. pathology, we take those courses as well. I also took medical terminology so I understand what people are talking that about. Was a, that was my biggest, <laughs> oh my hardest goodness. course in school, yeah. medical terminology. terminology. But once you know it, it's you yeah. understand what everyone's talking about. I can I can yeah. learn, I know that what they all mean, but I can't mm -hmm. say it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't. As long as you understand it, that's all that matters. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, my mom has cancer now, so and I'm her caretaker, and um, working well with the doctors, mm -hmm. and you know, I can't even pronounce the medications. Right. It's just a 
but you understand why they're right. giving it. So you have a, a higher level of understanding than someone that never took any of the coursework that you have, right. or myself, right. same. And that's, yeah. if you don't mind, just a, a quick point about that with mm -hmm. my mom. Mm -hmm. Um, learning, taking over her health and learning all her medications mm -hmm. and then reading up on all the side effects. I've been able to help her over the last two years get off some of them mm -hmm. and question. Mm -hmm. and she's, you know, she was on a statin drug for a very long time mm -hmm. for her cholesterol and, and I had finally said to the doctor, why is mm -hmm. she still on this statin drug? She's not mm -hmm. overweight anymore. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, she can go off that. Now statin drugs mm -hmm. have tons of horrible side effects and mm -hmm. she was on that probably 10 years longer than she had to be mm -hmm. but nobody asked the question so you're really good like a health advocate yes in a way is really what you are which is wonderful because yeah. everybody needs that right yeah. I did that with my mom when she was on a lot of pain medication for her back and I had brought her into my house and took care of her for about a month just to help her like okay we're going to get off these things because those are making you more debilitated mm -hmm. than the pain is mm -hmm. and so we got her on other things so she's not on the painkillers anymore Good. which is it made her weak she would fall down you know there's there's her hip broken if if we're not careful exactly. so there there are other options or interactions there. but it, right and it's hard and i realize mm -hmm. like when my daughter was diagnosed she didn't she just didn't have the mindset to do all the the research and the education i was mm -hmm. coming from a holistic networking and I wanted her to have all these options right. and I wanted her to boost her immune system so I got to be the part of the team that did yeah. the research mm -hmm. and I think without any health illness or you know health or disease having a team besides educating yourself right but having a team or someone on your team to help you guide mm -hmm. and that's that's a, you know my path is to hopefully be like you said health educator um, advocate Mm -hmm. to help ask those questions but what you do is a tool so exactly. for me as an educator mm -hmm. working with someone or of my own health saying you know, now I know that that's this is available mm -hmm. and it's I another option it's another for, option for people to look at and it's it's very powerful option yeah it can really change a person's life mentally emotionally physically it, mm -hmm. I've seen it in so many different ways I've also experienced it personally and it, it's just an incredible way for your body to heal in a very it's non-toxic no side effects it can be taken with pharmaceutical medicine mm -hmm. that tube right here costs eight to ten dollars depending on which store Compared and this to store what? and i've had this tube forever yeah because you only need one or two doses you yeah. don't need to keep taking it like a daily dose of things and so it's just a very foreign concept for people but if they only understood that it's another option and it's education. really worth looking into. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's bottom line education. Mm -hmm. yeah, I won't get into the whole <laughs> pharmaceutical industry oh, and the money and all that kind of stuff. And, all kinds know, of things, I know. But, you know, it's up to mm -hmm. us to, mm -hmm. to learn and to take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. It really, truly is. As an esthetician, because it's been like 20 years now that I've been doing the work as an esthetician mm -hmm. and working with the skin and, well, mm -hmm. like, you know, but... Yeah, not you worked with my drugs. son, and you did a great job with him when he was a teenager, just with we, his acne. You know, instead of the, instead of the drugs, of, right. everybody would run to the dermatologist. Thank God mm -hmm. we have dermatologists, so I'm not against mm -hmm. it. Um, some cases I'll even recommend the dermatologist, mm -hmm. but nine times out of ten cases, you don't need the drugs. You can make a couple lifestyle changes. You mm -hmm. can use um, natural alternatives, and mm -hmm. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if there's homeopathic things too, but there's right. alternatives. Mm -hmm. So the whole mm -hmm. approach to what I do, and so... Over the mm -hmm. period of time that I've been, you know, 20 years is a long time, and working yeah. with clients and getting to know their other illnesses and diseases and just in mm -hmm. conversations. I'm not a doctor by yeah. any means, mm -hmm. but being able to network, you know, mm -hmm. say, well, have you talked to a naturopath? Or now I could say homeopath mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. essential oils. I love working with essential oils. It's mm -hmm. plant medicine. Mm -hmm. So being able to share those types of things, I think, is really empowering. When you said a team, I thought about, wouldn't it be nice, you, this is my, my dream, one of my dreams, is that I would be working alongside a medical doctor and a dermatologist mm -hmm. and, and a chiropractor and a naturopath and everything, so that I would be part of a person's team, especially somebody that may have a condition that testing isn't coming out with any diagnosis because, mm -hmm. you know, medical community cannot prescribe unless there's a diagnosis. Right. And there are so many people that are just wondering what's wrong with me and they take their tests and they don't mm -hmm. know what it is. And for me, I don't need a diagnosis. I just need to have symptoms. I need to know that your head hurts. I need to know that your tongue gets swollen when you eat certain foods. I need to, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. I don't need to have a diagnosis. And so that's a beautiful thing. And wouldn't it be great if I could work with a doctor or a naturopath or a, you know, chiropractor, acupuncturist, and just say, there. 
I, would, I really believe it. In my it. lifetime, I don't know, but I, I would love to think it could happen. No, I think it's going to happen sooner than you think mm -hmm. because the program that I'm in for the health education, it's the Harvard-based program. It's um, mm -hmm. out of Wellesley Hospital. Mm -hmm. And they now have health educators working in doctor's um, offices. Mm -hmm. I mean, coded mm -hmm. for insurance. Insurance is, mm -hmm. will cover for patient education now. I like that. As, as a part of a team. And mm -hmm. there's more, in, I think, well, there's there's hospitals around that are now integrating or allowing integration, mm -hmm. Reiki, energy work, right? Um, those types mm -hmm. of things that are, they're they're starting to notice it. Right. I, I don't. I think it's mm -hmm. going to be sooner than you think. For everything else but homeopathy, homeopathy has been vilified since the early 1900s. Since the American Medical Association has come in, and you can look it up online, the stories behind how it how it basically became shunned by the American Medical Association, and it has just continued mm. over the years. We're fighting back. It's taking a long time. Um, it disappeared probably till about 1970, and we've come back, we, the whole homeopathic community all around mm. the world. But homeopathy is the second most used form of healthcare in this whole world. Why is it not here? Because 80% of our pharmaceuticals, of all pharmaceuticals produced in this world, are given in the United States. Do you think they want homeopathy? I don't think oh, so. Well, we can go there. We could do a whole talk Oh, I know. That. I the know. The cancer industry. Mm. Oh, no, no. Diabetes. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not saying anything. People but are watching this and getting going, yeah, you go, girl. <laughs> yeah, you go. <laughs> That's true. But, but hopefully yeah. with, you know, mm -hmm. even tonight, you know, mm -hmm. getting it to get the word out about what, what homeopathic mm -hmm. um, treatments are. Mm -hmm. I know there's a lot more to yeah. what you told us already. but It is. Th there is there's a lot. And I know that um, I think the best thing that people like about homeopathy, besides how simple it is, mm -hmm. is that it treats the whole person. So if you come with one condition, mm -hmm. one major symptom, we look at everything about you. We want to know everything about that symptom, but we want to know, like, like, what position do you sleep in? What are your favorite foods? What are you afraid of? What makes you cry? What makes you angry? You know, I ask people these questions. I spend two hours with a client the first visit because I really want to know, like, the whole person who comes in with, let's say, those migraines or that PMS okay. or whatever. And it's just, people are, like, really wondering, like, why do you need to know that? It's like, because I need to know all the pieces of your puzzle. Yep. And then I get to put them together and try to match it to the best remedy. And that's really my fun. I love doing that. That's, it's so cool to hear you say that. Because yeah. for me, I look at it same but different. Like I mentioned mm -hmm. before about facets. Because mm -hmm. our health and our body, we're, we're multifaceted. Yeah. And in order to achieve whole health, mm -hmm. there's, you have to address, like in the program that I'm in, we really focus on five, the five approaches or five elements in a sense. Not mm -hmm. elements like Chinese medicine but spiritual, mental, physical, environmental. Mm -hmm. So what's going on with, with, you know, are you under a lot of stress? Mm. Are you <laughs> eating horribly? Mm -hmm. or, you know, all those factors come into play when you have inflammation mm. or, and to treat the whole, the whole. Mm -hmm. And every, everything mm -hmm. is connected to everything. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely amazing. Just, I mean, definitely with our whole body. I read I everything too. I can get big too. We'll, we'll <laughs> I'm, talk re about I'm reading this great book called "The Body Speaks Your Mind." Your body speaks your mind, and it's so it's so enlightening to me to to know because it's exactly what I see in my practice. Mm -hmm. That ever since, let's say, somebody's you know grandfather died, who they were very close to, all of a sudden they got migraines. It's like they're having a hard time expressing how they're feeling about it, and they've had these migraines for like a dozen years, but it came on right at the time that their grandfather had died, and so it's the body speaks out at the things that maybe we won't, we won't talk about or refuse to talk about yep. or cover up. And it's just like, look at the symptoms that you have in your body and wonder, why do I have that skin rash? Why do I have mm -hmm. you know, constipation? What am I holding on to right. that I'm not letting go of? It's, it's just it's amazing. The science out there now to prove mm -hmm. all that stuff too is mm -hmm. amazing. I know, gosh, some of the books, um, The Second Brain, mm -hmm. one of the books for school I had to read, mm -hmm. and it talks about all the, the communication and the neurotransmitters and the mm -hmm. emotional receptors in our gut. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, when you get nervous mm -hmm. and you get that queasy feeling or you're really upset or mm -hmm. you're happy, you get butterflies. Yeah. Those, that's, that's scientifically proven. There's stuff going on. There's communication mm -hmm. in your gut, mm -hmm. between your gut and the environment and your brain. Yeah. Um, Molecules of Emotion that was written by Candace Burke. Mm -hmm. She proved that what was going on in the brain with the neurotransmitters when, mm -hmm. and the, the hormones that are released and the chemicals that are released when we feel sadness and joy, 
Mm-hmm. It's just, it's phenomenal. Everything mm-hmm. is connected to everything. So if you need, like you said, when you're working mm-hmm. with somebody for you, you know, mm-hmm. That make, I'm so happy to hear you say that because that's what it's all about. And you've and you've actually read books about things that are similar to to what I talk about. Yeah. So, it, it's very true. The body does have amazing capacity to express, you know, what we're thinking and, and what heal. we're feeling. And, and to like heal. You said, there you listening. go. There you go. That's um, what this is about. Body about speak. Healing. What was the name of the book you mentioned? Your body speaks your mind. Body speak is something. It mm-hmm. is a name for a seminar that I want to do. Oh, there you go. Because mm-hmm. it's paying attention to what your body is mm-hmm. saying to you mm-hmm. there's you know again information and education but it's i mean even so just true. sleep some people are like i'm so tired i'm so tired i'm like well how much sleep are you getting oh maybe five or six hours a night well your body's telling you mm-hmm. that you need more sleep because you're not feeling well or you're dragging or you're you know you're nauseous more often or you have headaches like mm, sleep is the basis of all of our well-being and if you're not getting enough sleep you need to get more sleep, and I would bet that that would fix probably 50% of most people's problems. Oh, absolutely. If they could get more sleep. So we did, um, I worked with a naturopath a, bunch, a couple of years back, and we did a, we've done several seminar series. Oh, great. Where um, we put, put like four, we did one was, that was three, one was four, that one was six. And we actually donated all the money. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. And um, one, of the, one of the topics was sleep. Mm-hmm. He did a whole topic on sleep. We did a mm-hmm. whole topic on water. We did one on breathing. There you go. All those are imp- <laughs> yeah. that's all the stuff we need. Oh goodness, yeah. health in general, mm-hmm. conditions on our body. For instance, with cancer, cancer mm-hmm. will not grow in an alkaline environment, meaning that's our true. tissues and our right. blood and our fluids. Mm-hmm. But when you eat a lot of junk food and sodas and inflammation in the body, right? Yeah. All that food, mm-hmm. you know, or oxygen. Mm-hmm. So all these mm-hmm. key things. I think the more we understand why mm. we should be drinking more water, why mm. we need sleep. Right. That's, that's going to help us in the long run. We mm. still might not do everything perfect. I sir, I, <laughs> I'm a chocolate. I wouldn't have There's no health benefits to, to chocolate. I know there is. There is, yes. They, yes. You, could, mm. you can consider it a mm. salad, I think. I think somewhere on Facebook, they, someone <laughs> broke it down to yeah, right, a okay. salad. Okay, yeah. yeah. No, I don't know about that. <laughs> so thinking it. about that whole idea is just to be very wary sometimes or skeptical about what you read online yeah. because I think some people when I give someone a remedy I tell them what it is and they go look it up I'm like, and they tell me tell me well, I don't have that I'm like I know you don't have that but there's so much more that you don't know about homeopathy that I do mm-hmm. so please don't read online because that's just not going to help you it's going to give you some misinformation and, and make you you know paranoid perhaps yeah. I mean there's some that's good and so just be, be very finding skeptical resources finding that good are resources de- right that are reputable right. mm-hmm. that, you know, they don't just post things without doing the research right. that's really important because there's so much things so, that make sense yep right and but and again I think it all boils down to the trust of mm-hmm. who you're working with mm-hmm. you know so but obviously I'm not an expert in homeopathic so mm-hmm. That's what your expertise is. Right. So you would educate me, and I would learn, mm-hmm. and I would trust, and mm-hmm. that's how it works. Yeah, I do a lot of educating, a lot of educating, and and it's it's one person at a time, mm-hmm. basically. And once I get them, I usually keep them because they get it. Right. But it takes a little while because and it's I very different than the regular medical model. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's I mean, mm-hmm. we're we're not doctors by mm-hmm. any means. No. Nope. You know, and I talk even when, when I do the aromatherapy courses and we talk about the benefits and what we can use for this. Mm-hmm. It, we're not doctors, and you, you know, you it's have to be very careful concept. about that. It's but education. we can help people. We can right. help people like Definitely a doctor help. can help people. Right, right. And if it, even the doctors also, it's basically education. Mm-hmm. Doctors are supposed <laughs> to educate and do no harm. Mm-hmm. But like, and we're not doctors. Right. We just that do no love harm what piece. we do to <laughs> by helping to yeah. educate and and um, share information. That's mm-hmm. we could talk for hours. And well, mm-hmm. we have a couple more minutes. Okay, that's good. So, so tell me a little bit more about the esthetician part. I know that you've been doing it for a long time. Like, what kinds of things do you see in your in your practice of skincare? That's a good question. Yeah. Um, probably one of the biggest, besides my group of ladies that are not happy with their age mm. and things that are changing. <laughs> the wrinkles, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And there's mm. there's a lot that can be done with mm. that um, acne. And mm. I think that for me. When I was dis- made the decision to switch from the nutri- my nutrition education to a different field where I can actually educate and work one-on-one with people, mm-hmm. um, I had very bad acne. Mm. And I, but I knew that it was all coming from the inside. Mm. So I felt, okay, I know the nutrition part. I need to n- learn the aesthetic part, mm. the, the skin information. So going to school for that, 
I was able to ultimately clear my, my own acne first. That first year was a little mm -hmm. hairy telling people I was an esthetician when I had very bad acne. Mm -hmm. But it was a process, you mm -hmm. know, the topically, getting in the right products, learning the ingredients, mm -hmm. doing the right cleansings. But then I had to do inward work. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of issues with um, toxins. Mm -hmm. Always had bi bad digestion, so mm -hmm. I had to do some detoxifications and, and cleansings. And that's when my, my skin just cleared. It, it, actually it is. It has to, the gut is a strong relationship to the face, yep. right? How Absolutely. healthy your gut is. Yeah. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and how we assimilate and eliminate. So the skin many times, what psoriasis, is eczemas, and acne, was coming through the skin secretions. If mm -hmm. there's toxins in there, will cause irritation. Yeah. Stress lowers the immune system. Mm -hmm. So as an esthetician, I've been able to work with a lot of these things mm -hmm. holistically mm -hmm. and again education and, and that I just I love 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 when um, clients come to me with, with something going on and it gets better and they're excited and they're happy with that's like mm -hmm. to me that's what you do it for yeah. that's yeah. what I do it for right exactly. to help people to, yeah. to see the benefits mm -hmm. and it started with me mm -hmm. you know so not and a lot of mm -hmm. my well with your son I was mm -hmm. an adolescent growing up with horrible skin getting called mm -hmm. all super bad names and everything <laughs> so I know what it's like to mm -hmm. be an adolescent with really bad skin mm -hmm. so when I get the opportunity to work with and I have a lot mm -hmm. of adolescents mm -hmm. because of moms that are my clients that mm -hmm. have kids that, <laughs> and um, you know we, mm -hmm. we go over hygiene we go mm -hmm. over you know Diet. you really shouldn't be drinking the sodas the because pizza. this is right mm -hmm. you know these yeah. are things you can do and let's just you know and work it because I have a different relationship with the kids than parents do I know same yeah. with my daughter, you know, yeah. I know those, they'll listen, I could say the same thing to my daughter that somebody else does and they'll listen to <laughs> them. It. So I, yeah. you know, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm the professional. Moms mm -hmm. don't know anything. Yeah. So if it comes from me, mm -hmm. we have, you know, it's easier. You're, developing you're relationships is fun too. I have mm -hmm. kids that I've worked with, started working with when they were in junior high and now they're married with kids. It's so much fun. Mm -hmm. You know, when you build those relationships like I'm mm -hmm. sure you do. Yeah. So I love yeah. my work as an esthetician. Love it. I'll be mm. doing it hopefully in my 90s. Yeah. And if I hope I get so too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no wrinkles for you though, right? You'll, oh, yeah. you'll, you'll oh, get no. rid of all your no, wrinkles. No, I'm going to. I love my wrinkles. <laughs> you I love your. There you go. Yeah, you have to love your wrinkles because they're, they're going to happen. Yeah. But you can make them look better. Make them look better. Yeah. I'll remember that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's part of the process. So I did get, I'll tell you, I got into homeopathy because my nine month old son at the time, who actually you met as a teenager, mm -hmm. he had ear infections and had tons of antibiotics that n did not clear the ear infections. They wanted to do tubes in his ears. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want him to get tubes. So I went to um, a homeopath. My mom actually told me about a homeopath. I didn't grow up with natural medicine at all. She got into it later in life. And uh, we took, it to a home took him to a homeopath, never had another ear infection again. And it was just this interview, and he, he observed him, and he asked me lots of questions about his behavior, and gave him one dose of one of these remedies, and his ear infections went away. It was just one of those, like, head-scratching moments, like, really? How could that be, you know? And I kept it with me for a couple of years until I decided that I wanted to learn more and treated him more, and then I got myself treated and other people in my family, mm -hmm. and just like, wow. It's like, it's, it, in some ways, it's a, it's a miracle yeah. when it works. It doesn't always work, but right. for the most part, it can. Or it can help. At the minimum, it, it, it always helps. It can definitely helps. help. And it's what the body does. Mm -hmm. It's energy medicine. So when, when it goes in the body, what does it do with it, you know? But I've seen so many people get righted, meaning they're off kilter and they get righted mm -hmm. because they've taken a good remedy. Mm -hmm. So it's just really cool. I hope people will look into it after this conversation. Me too. Yeah. Me too. And I want to look into mm -hmm. it more. Cause, and I've... Mm. Knowing that we were going to have this <laughs> conversation, I was like, yay. You can, um, I'll also sh suggest the National Center for Homeopathy okay. has great resources. Okay. So you can look them up, National Center for Homeopathy. Awesome. Great resources. I think we're, I think we're actually out, out of time. time. So <laughs> they're going to have to work Cut with us. It. Or, okay. or have us back so we could talk more. That would be great. That was awesome. Thank it you. It was great. Thanks, Lisa. We're, that was cool. Yeah. Got to do it again. I, I would love that. Yeah.